Y'all, I did something cool for the first time in my life to, wait, no. Y'all, welcome to my red table talk. Wait, aren't they canceled? What's going on y'all? My name's Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I wanted to talk about one of the coolest things I've done in dental school so far. Um, I literally just got back from school. It is Saturday, March 30th and I had patients at school today. I was supposed to have two, but the second one ended up canceling. So got home a little early. This morning, I want to talk about what I did this morning. Originally, my patient was supposed to come and have their tooth restored. Let's just, I want to keep it very simple. <laughs> so their back tooth had a silver filling on it. They were supposed to get that filling taken out and replaced with a composite tooth colored filling. But when the patient got there, sat down in the chair, I took a look at his x-rays. I took a look inside his mouth clinically and both I and my supervising faculty determined that that restoration wasn't needed. Not to get into the technicality of things, but part of my channel's purpose is to educate. Essentially, silver fillings last a really long time. And there is like minute controversy that's not heavily backed by research uh, saying that there, it causes mercury exposure and this and that and this and that let's not get too far into it let me just go ahead and say that if you have a silver silver filling that has been in your mouth for a long time and there's no extra decay under it there's no need to get rid of it and so that's what we determined honestly first thing my patient said when they sat down in the chair was this tooth isn't bothering me and if there's nothing wrong with the filling i don't want it replaced autonomy one of the principles of ethics in dentistry so yeah what we decided to do instead is my supervising faculty said well why don't you fix these front teeth so you can see a picture here by the way this picture does not include any identifying information but the patient did confirm with me that he is okay with me using these pictures so as you can see there's a little bit of chipping on his two front teeth called central incisors and my supervising faculty suggested that I fix those essentially and so usually how we would go about doing that is uh, there's a number of different things right so if the patient has very long teeth you could shave their teeth down you could uh, just add composite where the filling is there's a different there's a number of different ways you can go about attacking that issue Essentially, what we decided to do was shave the teeth down a little bit so that they're more uniform. Um, and then in the spot where there was chipping, we were going to add a composite. And the way that you do that is you do have to shave it just a little bit, but you add a little bit of a bevel to help keep the composite there, etc., etc. We don't have to get too much into the scientific technicalities of things so i mean this kind of reminds me of a clinic diaries episode i know i haven't done one of those in a long time honestly i don't think that series is continuing just because of you know poor performance honestly um it did not get renewed for season two <laughs> but i still felt like you know number one i did say i don't remember if y'all remember earlier vlogs this month i said my goal was to release 15 videos in the month of March that includes vlogs and shorts. I think this is number 14 I don't know by the way happy Easter because I will be releasing this video tomorrow on Easter Last day of March so I can reach my goal of 15 videos for the month. Um, anyway I wanted to share this experience with y'all because it was very fulfilling it's very on par with the current trends in dentistry, which is aesthetics um and also i'll bring up something later on in the video that i could talk about but before i do that i want to show you all the final product 
Drum roll, please. Boom. This is how his two front teeth look now. Now this is my first time doing something like this, but overall I'm happy with how it came out. I think uh, the patient smile looks different. Um, the number one thing to focus on is he doesn't have those chips anymore. But also, if you could see how happy my patient was leaving the clinic today, very, very, very fulfilling experience, I must say. So now. Let's talk about one more thing, the thing that I said I was going to talk about later in the video, and that is the current trends in dentistry, etc. So I know a lot of y'all see the veneers, the what y'all think is veneers, but are really crowns, <laughs> um, the all on X's like implant over dentures people are getting. Um, a lot of people are jumping to the quick fix for their smile. Veneers crown whatever they need to do they don't want to they don't want to wait for you know braces or whatever it might be but this right here shows you how much change can happen without losing your natural teeth i need people to understand teeth do not grow back once they're gone they're gone for good you do have to shave teeth down for veneers a little bit you do have to shave teeth down for crowns etc if your dentist could do something like this, right? This is how you can now alter the shape of your teeth, right? So a lot of people, you know, get braces, but then they just, you know, their teeth are all straight, they're in alignment, they're in a proper occlusion, but they just genuinely don't like how their teeth look. They're too square, they're too big, etc. But what if you could do something like that? Or what if you have short teeth, you have a gummy smile, you can get a gingivectomy. There's a lot of things you can do without getting rid of your natural teeth. And I think that is something that needs to be highlighted and can be reinforced from what I did in clinic today. So I just wanted to share that experience with y'all because um, it is, I want to say a pivotal moment in my dental school career, but it is something pretty cool that happened that not everyone gets a chance to do. And I'm very thankful that I did. And uh, I wanted to make a video about it and share it with y'all. That's really all that I have to say today. Be on the lookout for future videos. I have a really cool vlog coming next week. I'm just waiting for it to get approved by people that need to approve it. And then it'll be out. But um, I was editing it yesterday. I've been editing it. I'm going to edit it this weekend. I like it. Like... I'm excited for it and I'm excited to share the vlog. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you subscribe if you watched all the way through this video. There's dental school vlogs and videos like this all over my channel that you can watch. Videos with advice for pre-dents, etc. So make sure you tap in so you don't miss the next videos, alright? And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.